Disclaimer, our podcast is for entertainment only. We are not discrediting anyone who has had any of these paranormal encounters or believes them. Hello, beautiful human beings. It's Mars and SJ here with Undeniable Mysteries Podcast, where we find paranormal stories on the internet. Why are you going, why are you going so fast? I don't know. And what is that voice? I'll let you finish the intro, though. It's Mars and SJ here with Undeniable Mysteries, Mm -hmm. a podcast where we find paranormal stories on the internet, and we rate them on how believable they are to us. Yep, that's what we do. (laughs) SJ, what's our next state encrypted? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? (laughs) Pennsylvania with the squonk. Squonk! (laughs) <laughs> what is wrong with you today i don't know all right so <clears throat> the squonk it is reportedly the homeliest of all living things in pennsylvania and it says obviously as a creature of myth and legend um so tales of the squonk or a are you okay there yeah <laughs> originated in northern pennsylvania in the 19th century um, William Cox documented the legend in his 1910 book, Fearsome Creatures of the Lumberwoods, with a few desert and mountain beasts. That's a long book title. Mm-hmm. So, the squonk allegedly lives in the hemlock forest of the state, and Cox was making a point with the squonk and some of the other creatures in his book, because when he was writing there... Um, was a very real possibility that the hemlock forests of Pennsylvania were gone forever due to over harvesting. Um, what the heck? Huh. So it says here's how Cox reported in his book on the animal, which he gave the scientific name of. Lacra lacrima corpus dissolvens. What? I don't know. This is the first cryptid that I know of that has a scientific name to it. Okay. So probably the home special. Very special. Probably the homeliest animal in the world and knows it. The distri- distribution was once fairly wide. The usual habitat being high plains where desert vegetation was abundant. Um, so we don't need to know all that. We want to know about the squonk. What's the squonk up to? Oh, so that just plays into it. So as history shows beyond dispute that as these areas gradually changed to swampy lake-dotted country, the squonk was forced to take to the water. Of distinctly low mentality, it traveled constantly around the unaccustomed marshes in search of fodder. With time, it developed webbing between its toes, but only on the submerged left feet. What? Hence, on entering the water, it could swim only in circles and never got back to shore. That doesn't make no sense. Yeah. Um, I'm confused. Fossil bones dredged from these lake bottoms reveal that thousands perished of starvation in this manner. Today, the squonk is met with solely in the hemlock forest of Pennsylvania. Um, It is a most retiring, bashful, uh, crepuscular animal garbed in a loose, warty, singularly ill-fitting skin. So it's all like wrinkly and stuff. Uh, the squonk is always unhappy, even morbid. Oh, poor squonky. No. He is given to constant weeping over his really upsetting appearance and can sometimes be tracked by his tear-stained trail. Oh. He needs therapy. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> uh, moonlight nights are best for squonk hunts, for then the animal prefers to lie quiet in its hemlock home fearing should it venture forth that it may catch a glimpse of itself in some moonlit pool so it it can't look at itself or else it's gonna cry (laughs) poor dude (laughs) sometimes you can hear one weeping softly to himself oh this bro this guy needs a friend 
I want to adopt him. Let's go to Pennsylvania, find the squonk. <laughs> as long as he doesn't, you know, kill anything. Which I don't think he will. That's, that squonk seems like he's pretty friendly and just, you know, needs a little buddy to cheer him up. So I'm not going to read. There's more excerpts from this book of the squonk. But I'm not going to read it because that's a lot. <clears throat> All right, so what else we got? We got any encounters or anything? Hopefully. Mm. So, okay, so it says in the 2015 version of this book, the squonk is physically and actually a pig. It's covered in warts and has cauliflower ears covered in wax and hair. Its tusks are yellow and crooked, um, and eyes weep constant tears. It has four legs. Um, its fearsome aspect is its contagious misery. It lives in the mountains of Pennsylvania. So there's really not much to it. There's no encounters or anything that I can see. Oh my gosh, he's adorable! Aww. Look at that one! Yeah. <gasps> he, shouldn't, he, shouldn't, he shouldn't be self-conscious about himself. He looks beautiful. He, he kind of looks like uh, the hairless rat that I had. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's so cute. Like a wrinkly little guinea pig. Oh, I love him. Look, he's crying. Oh, I want to give him a hug. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at little ears. Oh, my gosh. You know, I'm the last one. I didn't agree that that was cute. But to be honest, this one's, you know, Ugh, He's cute. adorable. I love him. I want to keep him. I want to snuggle up to him and give him all the kisses in the whole entire world. So he don't cry no more. Oh, my gosh. All right. So we got to rate him. Image. You know, since it's, you know, you're liking this one a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm guessing you're going to give it a 10. Honestly, the image, I probably would give it a 10. It looks it looks like it could be a realistic uh, cryptid. I'm giving it a 9, yeah. Like, I could see this being a thing. It's not that big. Like, there are so many things that are hairless. Plus, it's not like you're, st you know, it's not like... You know how basically everything is a Bigfoot creature, mm -hmm. whatever, it's a cryptid. But, you know, this is one of the things that's, you know, different from that. Yeah, I can, I definitely see this being a thing. Okay, it's so. It's not really like a sea serpent either, so yeah. it's not like, you know, that kind this of This is different. This is a different kind of cryptid. All right, so, story? Story, 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 story. Mm. Maybe like, you know, like a seven or an eight, maybe? I would say seven. Yeah. I would honestly seven. It's very know. descriptive and everything. You um, know, why do you always steal my answers? I don't always steal your answers. <laughs> I'm just waiting on you. Well, you don't have to stare at me. Mm -hmm. Make up a little song for the audience. Uh, squonky, squonk, squonk. I love you so much. Right. Wanna give right. you... Oh. All right. You couldn't stop. <laughs> okay, so prove... Yeah, proof, proof, proof. There, I didn't see any proof. There's no encounters or anything. This is your own. I'm so sorry, Squonky. <laughs> you get a low score. You get 33. That's not too bad, though. 33? Yeah. 33 for Squonk? So that's... That's uh, below uh, Colossal Claude and above Peppy. Is that not too terrible low? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squonky boys up there. Yay. Love our squonk. Yay. Squonk. 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 <laughs> it's, like, it's like a Pokemon. I can see this being a Pokemon. <laughs> squonk, I choose you. Use weep. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it was super effective. <laughs> uh, but imagine you're just battling another one. And it's oh, <laughs> no. Just be a battle we, of tears. We peaked the mic because <laughs> of this guy. 
We're crying for you, Squonk. <laughs> so sorry. Don't, All right. don't feel bad about yourself, little Squonk. You're not ugly. You're adorable. You're, be- you're beautiful. You're we beautiful. love you. I should I should start uh, opening up the podcast with hello, beautiful uh, cryptids instead of human beings. That way, you know. I thought you were gonna say hello, beautiful squonks. Oh my gosh, we could call the series of squonks. You almost have squonks. God, we're peaking. Now. Let's just do the let's just do the outro already. I almost said intro. All right. Yeah, let's redo the intro. Okay, let's redo it. No. Um. So, you got any extra? Yeah. I got what, what extra you let's, got? Let's unpack this, all right? You guys you guys know August, all right? You know, What's August? Is that a month? Yeah, yeah. In a year? Yeah, it also has, like, you know, that season of, like, autumn or, okay. as, you know, something we'll get called in, fall. We'll get into it, yeah, get yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah, um, yeah. So, apparently there's something called the seventh day of August. There's a seventh day in August? Yeah. What's going on that seventh day of August? Apparently, you know, like cryptids, right? We, you oh, know, yeah, we yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, them. yeah, we yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I'm we, aware we of cryptids. Write, we write them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently, it's sea serpent day on that day. What? Yeah. On what day? <laughs> August seventh. August seventh is sea serpent day. People should really put that on their calendar. Yo, so that. that's crazy. Yeah. And what what happens if they if they don't celebrate sea serpent day? Then they just. Can't and then no one can watch us anymore. Probably the uh, Oklahoma octopus is going to, like, devour them. Yeah. That's that's what's going to happen if you don't celebrate it. I'm they sorry. Are, they're going to become a stereotypical Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are going to turn into cryptids if you don't celebrate. I don't know the, if you'd uh, want circus. that because then you'd just be, you know, a stereotype. So. Yeah. And then people will hunt you down. And that's just not, that's yeah, bad you, news you bears, really dude. That. You know, that doesn't really happen, you know, with us humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe some of us are humans. Da-da-da. I'm a reptilian. I'm sorry, I'm an I didn't alien, tell you before. Yeah. I'm an alien. I'll just peel off my skin. What right is now. this? I don't know. I just we gotta end this it. We gotta right. just... not we. You gotta end. Okay. It. I do the ending. I the end, end. I I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Uh, I hope you guys didn't cry too much. Um, we cried. We cried so much. We cried and so. My makeup is like running. I don't have makeup <laughs> on, but my tears are running. All right, we will see you next week. Bye-bye.